Hello everybody, I am Miranda and you're here with me yoga. Today we're going to be doing a bit of a focus practice. We'll do a full body stretch, a bit of a focus on our core, especially our side bodies, our transverse abdominals. So really nice for your back, your abs, everything there. If this is your first time practicing with me, please look at the description below this video, find the link for a separate video called Tips for a Safe Yoga Practice and watch that first. For props, you might want to grab a small blanket or a towel just to put under the knees because we're going to be doing gate pose, which is a bit of a hard on the knees if you have any knee issues. And then, of course, it's always a good idea to have that water. So let's all start on our back and go ahead and go to a supine position. I'll see you there. All right, everybody meeting with their backs on the mat. We're going to go and start with a crescent moon kind of thing. So think about making the body like a beautiful little crescent moon. We're going to start by walking the feet over. Either side is fine. You can join me by doing the right side first. So walk the right leg and left leg over. And when you reach that maximum, cross that left over the right. Now you're going to work on the upper body. So kind of wiggle yourself over, making that crescent moon and then bringing your hands up overhead, grabbing your left wrist with your right hand. Just gently pulling here on that left wrist, trying to keep the hips in one plane, just working into the side body. Squeezing the right side, opening the left. Taking one more slow breath here. And then to come out, gently release that wrist. Wiggle your upper body back to the center of the mat. And then drawing the legs together. Working all the way over to the opposite side. Feet go first. Getting that maximum curve on the lower body. And then crossing the right foot over on top of the left. Holding steady there, arms come up, wiggle yourself over, making that crescent moon, grabbing the right wrist with the left hand, and gently pulling here. Trying to keep the sacrum connected down to the mat, keep those hips in line. Imagining that you're just making that beautiful curve throughout the entire right side of the body. One more breath here. And then slowly come out, drawing the upper body back to the center of the mat, and then your legs. So next we're going to be moving on alternating arm and leg movements here. So when your right arm moves up, your left leg will, kind of drawing that line across the body. So I'll show you the beginner kind of level here. So bringing the arms up overhead, make sure that you have space. Get just long enough, wide enough of a room here for me. So to begin, you're gonna go exhaling when you make the movement. So exhale, this is beginner's level, just bending that knee up, drawing the right hand to the left knee. And then alternating, moving with the breath, of course. Inhale when you come down, exhale when you come up. If you wanna go a little bit deeper, straighten the leg. Drawing yourself. Again, this is for kind of building up intensity here. So your hand can just come to meet the top of the leg wherever you can. And then if you have that flexibility, you can always bring the fingertips to touch the toes. And then of course, because we're doing a focus on core here on our abs. So if you want to go fully into it, start to lift yourself up and twist. Exhale when you come up, inhale down. Moving through these for a few more times, whichever level you're at. Stay on that level if possible. Getting a full body kind of movement here. And also getting a twist here, working into those transverse abdominals a bit. If you're in that final level with me. Last one. And inhale, release. Interlace the fingers, point the toes, just stretching the whole body, letting the lower back come up off that mat a bit. 
Nice. Release the hands. We're going to roll over to our bellies now. So just coming on to the stomachs. And we're going to be doing, again, alternating movement. Obviously, we're not going to be touching the feet with our hands like this unless you have zero joints in your body, which would be crazy. So what we're going to be doing is we'll have the arms in front, toes pointed back. And when your right arm comes up, that means your left leg also rises off the mat. If it's too much for you, I'll show you the beginner's kind of level, is bending the knees and then on the exhales when you lift up. So exhale, right arm, left leg, inhale down. Exhale, left arm, right leg. So this is kind of the beginner's level here, keeping the legs bent, working with the body, and then straightening the legs if you'd like, going into a little bit more of a challenge. And you're determining the height. You're just moving with yourself here, moving with your breath, squeezing the lower back on that exhale, looking forward, and inhale, your forehead connects down to the mat. Few more of these guys. Just really think of toning the core part of the body. That includes the back, so it's a really nice kind of back work here. Last set. And release. You're releasing that little bit of back bend work by going to Balasana to Child's Pose. So push yourself up, hands and knees. Walk your knees as wide as your mat. Big toes stay touched and sit those hips back towards your heels, letting yourself melt down here. Keeping your hands kind of gripping the mat here, opening up the shoulders a bit more. This is a resting pose, but it can be a bit active as long as you keep those hands active. Not letting the hips come off the heels, really let those sink down. Taking a few breaths here. All right, to draw yourself up out of this, start to walk the hands back to the body. And at the top, doing three shoulder rolls, opening the shoulders, squeeze the shoulder blades together on the exhale. Inhale, roll them forward and up. Exhale back. Last one, inhale and exhale. Next we'll be moving to the gate pose, Padigasana. So go ahead and grab that blanket if you do need a little bit of extra padding. If you've got those fun little crunchy knees, crepitus like me, or if you just want to be a little more gentle on the body, that's always an option. So bringing your feet together, your knees are together to start. And then having the hands on the hips, inhale, rise up. So pushing into the shins, feet are pointed back. Draw the arms away from each other so the palms are face down. And I'm going to be your mirror, so we're going to work on the right side first. So draw that right leg so that it is perpendicular from you. Your toes are pointed outward. So your right knee is pointed up at the sky, toes are pointed out. Holding here, inhale. And then exhale, going to gate pose, dropping that right hand on top of the leg, not on the knee, of course, above or below the knee. And then that left arm swings up to the opposite side. It's almost like an extended side angle that we do when we're standing. Kind of the same movement, really great for the sides of our body here. You're squeezing the right side, peeling that left shoulder back, looking up at the sky if you have the balance. Holding here. Lovely Parigasana can be a little bit challenging with balance for some people, but it's an amazing, amazing stretch. To come out, you're going to come out on the inhale. Inhale, draw yourself up, keeping that leg there, just doing a little counter stretch. So drop the left hand down the mat below that left shoulder, and then the right arm, just kind of doing the opposite movement here. Right hand is facing down to the earth, extending from all the way to the tips of that right finger, fingers, down to your right toes. Nice. Inhale, 
exhale. And we're going to move to side plank, Vasistasana. So go into this nice and gentle. Bring the right hand down. Left hand comes to the center of the mat. Keep that right foot. And then push into the left hand. Draw that left leg so that your feet are almost stacked. All right? Floating that right hand up to the sky. Pulling in the core. Planks are amazing, of course, for holding and building strength throughout your whole body, especially on the shoulder, though, when you do Vasistasana. So inhale here. If you need to, you can always drop that left knee, giving yourself a bit more support. If that's what you need, it's fine. One more breath. You can do it. Squeeze, pull in the belly button. Exhale, drop that right hand down, coming back to the center of the mat, knees come together, and then toes are pointed back, rise up, hands on hips. You know what I'm going to say, we have to do the other side, right? Can't just do one side. So inhale, the arms away from you, palms facing down. Holding here, and then we're going to extend the left leg out to the side. So left toes are pointed away, 90 degrees. Left knee up to the sky. Inhale here. And then dropping that left hand on top of the left leg, above or below the knee. And then that right arm goes all the way. So the right palm is facing down. Pulling that right shoulder back. Parigasana. Feeling a nice stretch on your inner thigh as well. Pushing into that right shin to take the weight out of the right knee. Holding for just one more breath, really getting all these benefits here in this intercostal muscles, the muscles between the ribs especially. And then inhale, bring yourself up, moving to the opposite side. Right hand comes down below the shoulder, and that left arm does a little counter stretch. Left palm is facing down, left toes are still pointed away from the body, 90 degrees from the hips. Left shoulder peels back. Finishing this off with that lovely side plank. So drawing that right hand kind of to the center of the mat. And then pushing here, bringing that right leg straight behind the left foot. Left arm floats up to the sky. Remember your modification if you need it. You can always drop down that right knee, kind of giving yourself a bit of support here. It's fine. Holding here though, building the strength if you can, squeezing the core, pulling that navel towards the spine, looking up at the sky, challenging our balance while we build our strength. Just a few more breaths here, I promise. It's a really great pose to hold though, making beautiful strong side planks. Inhale and exhale. Left hand comes down, bringing you back to the center of the mat. Awesome job, guys. Release that blanket if you had it. You won't need that anymore. We're going to do a little wrist release because I know that was pretty intense on our wrist here. So you can just, I'm going to turn to the side so you can kind of see this a little bit better. So what I want you to do is I want you to bring the backs of the hands down beside the body and just gently put a little pressure. This is just a small wrist release. We know that that side plank, as amazing as it is, can put a lot of extra pressure on the wrist here. So letting that go, taking a breath here. And then just very briefly, bring the palms down behind the body slightly, open the shoulders, drop the head back, shine that heart up to the sky. And now pushing into the fingertips, draw yourself up, doing shoulder rolls in the opposite direction. So inhale, open the shoulders, exhale, curve into the front. Two more of these, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Kind of just doing a little quick supine twist here. You can stay here, or if this is hurting your knees, you can just come to cross-legged, it's fine. 
just kind of working that little extra bit in the core. So left hand, sorry, right hand, used to be in your mirror, comes to the outside of that left leg, and you can just twist here, opening that left shoulder back, looking over behind you. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, opposite side. Remember, your hand is about one palm length away from your back of your body. Squeezing here, wringing out the sponge of your torso. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release. Going to do a little downward dog work now. So you're already on those knees or could bring yourself to your knees if you went to cross-legged. Hands are shoulder width distance apart. Tuck the toes under. On your next exhale, push into the balls of the feet. Lift yourself up. Sink those hips back. Bring your ears between the arms. You can just kind of walk it out here. Pedal those feet. Releasing the ankles, releasing the calves. Holding here for a down dog. Just kind of think about pulling in that navel, sinking down here. And then we're going to inhale to a low plank. So draw yourself forward at first, and then go ahead and drop down to your forearms. This is called a low plank, or sometimes it's called a dolphin plank. So taking the weight out of those wrists for a few moments. Still doing some core work though. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of like swivel. So you're gonna move from one side to the other. Inhale, come up. Exhale, over. So this is just sort of like a swivel to me, but it's a nice little work you can do throughout the core and especially works into those transverse abdominals that we all love to have. Beautiful transverse abs. Moving with the breath. Just a few more guys. And of course, if you love this motion, you can always do more of it. Coming back to the center and release down for a moment, releasing the back, coming to a sphinx pose. So elbows are under the shoulders. Hands are grounded, pull yourself forward, open the heart. Shining that heart forward, gazing towards the front of your mat. All right, and finishing this all off with just a few vinyasas, kind of doing the whole body work, okay? So bring the hands under the shoulders, push up to plank, come back to down dog. I'm gonna go through three rounds of vinyasas, okay? Inhale to plank, exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Two more, inhale to plank, exhale, down to the mat. Inhale, swim through, exhale, hips up. One more, guys, inhale to plank, exhale, down, inhale, come up, and exhale, down dog. Hold in this last down dog for a few breaths. Just letting it all settle in, absorb that work, and then finishing into child's pose. Knees come down, big toes touch, hips down the heels, close the eyes. Releasing here, just letting yourself connect to the mat, connect back to your breath. Staying here for longer if you like, or if you want to come out of it with me, start to walk the hands back towards the body, and finding your final seated position. So that is all for today, guys. Like I said, a short practice, just kind of a way to work the whole body in a short amount of time with that small focus on your core. So feel free to leave any feedback below, comment or send me a message on the Facebook May Yoga page. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And I will look forward to seeing you again on the mat very soon. See you guys soon guys, have a wonderful day. Namaste.